Yo, what's good, YouTube? This your boy Jarrell here, holding it down for Jarrell Fitness, and y'all already know, man. It's time to grow, bro. What's good? So anyway, this is gonna be my little arm workout right here. Um, yeah, I do this at the crib, biceps and triceps. So um, as y'all saw in the beginning of the video, I was just using a little hand chalk, you know, getting my hands, you know, nice, gripped up and ready. So you can purchase that from your local sports authority store or any other sports facility. So anyway, I started off the workout. Oh, by the way, you guys see that I'm not using any wrist wraps, okay? I'm not using the wrist wraps because for some reason it feels like um, when I don't use those wrist wraps, <clears throat> lately it seems like I've been having a lot more power when it comes to my pressing movements. Not for all of the different exercises, but for just some of them. And um, this is one of the ones that I definitely kind of feel like I'm more powerful when I don't have them. As funny as that sounds, man, um, if you use wrist wraps too much, it can kind kind of make your your wrist kind of weak okay so try not to use them all the time only when you're doing very very heavy sets okay guys so um i believe this this is close grip bench press that i'm doing right now so this is a great exercise to work your triceps and uh, i think that's one of my best body parts man along with my chest is my triceps i'm definitely trying to make my triceps bigger because a lot of people don't know that um that's like the main part of your arm. That's that what makes your arms look bigger is your triceps. It's not necessarily your biceps all the time, but the combination of both of them is awesome. So I'm definitely trying to bring my biceps up to part, but my triceps are doing pretty good. So um, I did about four sets of this exercise right here. I did that first warm up set. And um, the whole trick with this exercise is to make sure that you keep your, your arms, don't try not to flare your elbows out try to keep your you know your elbows to your sides you know as much as you can you're gonna flare out just a little bit just naturally but just try to limit that as much as possible so that you'll keep a lot of the emphasis on your triceps a lot of people think that this is a chest exercise it, it incorporates a little bit of your chest but if you feel too much chest <laughs> Like me personally, I don't fear chest at all. When I'm doing these, I really don't, you know. Unless uh, my form starts getting real fucked up, then I'll start feeling it in my chest. But other than that, I feel all triceps. So this is a great exercise. So <clears throat> and um, so I did about four sets of this, I believe. I kind of lost count a little bit. I, right. you guys must excuse me. <clears throat> damn, my voice cracking and shit. God damn. God damn, anyway <laughs> So anyway, this last set right here I went ahead and dropped the weight down to um, To 155 And I'm gonna go ahead and just pretty much wrap it out Get that nice burn in the triceps You know, but this is a great exercise, man Um, So this has definitely helped me increase my bench press as well Close grips and um, this is a great alternative for you guys that work at at home to do if you don't have like a dipping station, which I don't have a dipping station. That's why I make sure that I do those at home. But uh, I got a nice little trick to help you guys that work out at home that have like a power rack like myself. And um, I'll be showing you guys a video with that real soon. I just got to make sure I go out and buy myself a new, well, an extra barbell so I can show you guys how to do dips at home. But anyway... Here's the second exercise that I moved on to, and these are um, skull crushers. So this is, I did two supersets of this. I think I put the captions up on the screen so you guys can see. But um, this is a superset of skull crushers with the easy curl bar. Um, I think that's like 235 plates I have on each side right here in this clip. And um, this is great for the triceps. So I just pretty much do as many reps as I can. And then once it gets too fucking heavy for me to do another rep, I go ahead and swing the bar down like you just saw me do it. And I do some close grip easy bar presses, okay? So it's pretty much the same thing as um, close grip bench presses, but the weight is much lighter. And you, I just pretty much, you know, use explosion. And I just pretty much go down, explode up down explode you know just kind of get that speed going and you definitely feel a nice burn so this is a great superset i did two supersets of this and um this is a great exercise man i'm gonna make sure i start doing that more often supersets are always great when it comes to working your arms as you guys probably already know from watching chris jones and physiques of greatness and various other channels when they stress the importance of um supersets so anyway here's the next exercise that we're moving on to and this is um dumbbell tricep extensions 
So this is great for getting that nice sweep to your tricep. You can do these various different ways, but I chose to do it this way, and I'm um, actually feel pretty good. So I did a few sets of this right here, and um, <clears throat> that's how it went down. All right, y'all. So. I don't remember how many sets I did, but I put it on the screen so y'all saw it anyway. So anyway, moved on to the biceps. So this right here, I'm doing a few sets of um of easy bar easy bar curls. Um, usually I will use a straight bar, but lately I feel like the easy bar kind of focuses more on the the bicep itself as opposed to the straight bar. The straight bar kind of brings your forearms into the exercise a little bit more than you would like it to. And um, you know that's pretty much how that goes. So I like to go heavy with those for a few sets, and then you can go ahead and take. If you're working out at home, you can go ahead and take your incline bench, and you can do some um, one arm dumbbell preacher curls. This is a great exercise to, you know, to pretty much concentrate on each bicep. Um, one at a time so you can get a nice contraction and this is a great exercise as you can see my bicep has a great pump so I did a few sets of this and um, if you're at the gym go ahead and use the preacher curl station and it works just as good so I want to hook up both sides the home training guys and the guys at the gym so that's how I'm gonna go ahead and form the, the advice for you guys so anyway moving on to the forearms part of the exercise now with this, I did um, three drop sets of hammer curls. Now, with hammer curls, they work your biceps as well, but you just have to kind of get a feeling for this exercise. You know, don't go too heavy, but just, you know, come up, and when you come at the top, just get that nice squeeze and just squeeze your fucking forearms until you feel a nice contraction. So I just do that, drop sets, and I just do it back to back, and I just um, decrease the weight, okay, guys? And then this is the last exercise for your forearms. I do two sets of behind the back wrist curls, and that's pretty much it, guys. And um, I hope that helped you out. And like I said in the beginning, y'all already know it's time to grow, bro. Peace.